Stanley Roberts, who found some people behaving badly. Pay attention to the three people entering the top of your screen. They will be the focus of this segment. Notice how one person stops and appears to be enjoying the flowers, while her two friends just stand around and watch. However, the woman is not enjoying the flowers. She is vandalizing them. You're looking at surveillance video from a cafe located on 7th Street in West Oakland, an area known as The Bottoms. These people, according to the cafe workers, are from an infamous tagging group known as DFM. They have been defacing property in and around West Oakland by tagging anything they can find. But watch this. Notice one of the taggers enters the doorway of the cafe, and you can barely see it, but he squats down. If you watch closely, you can see a stream of what appears to be urine running down the sidewalk. According to cafe workers, while his friends were tagging the building out of camera view, he was using the doorway as a public toilet. To make matters worse, not only did he defecate in the doorway of the cafe, he apparently shoved the feces under the door as if taking a dump wasn't enough. And the woman returns and stands around as the man finishes up and fixes his pants. These taggers have been targeting Revolution Cafe with not only graffiti and fecal matter, here's a video of fireworks being shot at the building. Witnesses say these vandals actually live in the neighborhood and strike during the dark of night. And usually the wrong people get the blame for the illegal tagging around the area and for that matter, other parts of the city. In West Oakland, Stanley Roberts, Cron 4 News.